India, more than 77 million adults are diabetic. Do you know by 2045, it will increase to 134 million people in India. One in six people in the world is diabetic from India. That means India is the second capital for the diabetes all over the world. Hi, this is Dr. Priyanka and you're watching me on my YouTube channel, Health with Homeopathy. In this channel, I take a topic every time and discuss about its cause, symptoms, diagnosis, prevention and lastly, I describe the homeopathy medicines, whatever it is required. Those who has not subscribed my channel, please subscribe today so that you can get the latest health related updates on my YouTube channel. Let's start now. What is diabetes? बहुत सारे हमने सुने होंगे कि उसको शुगर हो गया है उसको शुगर हो गया है बट क्या हम जानते हैं सही माने में कि शुगर है क्या अगर हम डेफिनेशन के बारे में देखें तो डायबिटीज इज अ डिजीज दैट ऑकर्स व्हेन योर ब्लड शुगर लेवल इज हाई बिकॉज़ योर पैंक्रियास डज नॉट प्रोड्यूस इनफ इंसुलिन और योर बॉडी इज नॉट यूजिंग इंसुलिन टू लोअर द blood sugar level in your body. Insulin is basically a hormone which is produced by pancreas which helps to regulate the blood glucose level in your body. Agar humare body mein bohat zyada glucose ban raha hai, sugar hai aur pancreas se insulin nikalta hai, wo insulin agar uh, body ko kisi karan se body absorb nahi kare ya wo convert nahi kar pa raha hai jiske karan body mein high level of sugar hai to isko hum diabetes bolenge agar hum type of diabetes ke bare mein kare then type 1 diabetes body does not make any insulin because your immune system has attacked and destroyed the cells in the pancreas that makes insulin. This can be seen in children, in young adults or maybe in any age. Now let's talk about type 2 diabetes. Your body does not make or use the insulin well. This can be happening in any age, usually in middle age or older people, 45 age and above people are common. But sometimes it is seen in young people kids also. Uh, diabetes type 2 is the most common diabetes seen around the world and in fact in India also. Main causes may be because you are overweight, you have BP, you have cholesterol, you have high triglycerides, you are inactive, you have uh, health issues. In that case, you are prone towards type 2, type 2 diabetes or you have a genetic factor. If you have any cousins, ko, mata, pita ko, ya aapke kisi siblings, ko bhi hai, so, then you are prone towards diabetic too. Who had gestational diabetes, they should be actually very active because they are prone towards type 2 diabetes later on. They, took, they should took good care of their health. They should be active and control their food habits so that later on they do not go for type 2 diabetes. Then there is juvenile diabetes. This is basically seen in newborn babies or kids, infants. Uh, and there are many type of diabetes followed by some few health issues. If we talk about the symptoms, then general symptoms are basically increased hunger level. You have uh, increased urination. You can see weight loss. You can see frequent uh, thirst. Aapko paani pine ka bohat man karega. Blur vision sometimes. Extreme fatigueness, tiredness. You can see uh, any injury which takes a lot of time to delay in compared to normal people and diabetic people. Then you can think of diabetes. With these general symptoms, few more symptoms comes in men that are decreased desire for the sex, erectile dysfunction and poor muscular strength. For women, with these general symptoms you can also see few more symptoms that is vaginal dryness, UTI, yeast infection, dry and itchy skin. If we talk about the complications then actually diabetes give you lots of complications. You can have if you have higher blood sugar level it may damage your organ and tissue all over the body therefore it is deadly disease which you have to control with medicines or maybe with diet or maybe with your lifestyle change initially. 
uh, if we talk about the complications then in your body you can see heart disease heart attack stroke neuropathy nephropathy retinopathy vision loss hearing loss foot damage sometimes if you have any injury it will not heal easily you may also see dementia dryness of the skin uh, frequent urination sometimes you are too fatigued you have no muscle strength these are the complications Sometimes diabetic people may also have depression and dementia. If we talk about how to diagnose diabetes, uh, we should go always for blood test. So 14th November is celebrated as World Diabetes Day. If you are not getting regular scan for your blood sugar, then many uh, NGOs and many hospital clinics, pathologists, they uh, provide free of cost scanning for the blood glucose please go and scan yourself so that you know whether your blood sugar is high or no because many people don't know that they have diabetes and they have been living living so long without knowing in diabetic stage and at last when the condition is worse the organs and uh, tissues are damaged then they got to know about it that they are diabetic so please whenever there you see or any health checkup or you should take actually once in a year full body checkup just to know whether your body is functioning nicely or not there are different type of blood tests to calculate and to measure your blood sugar level and for the confirmation also if you are in borderline uh, then you are pre-diabetic state that means you can uh, convert your pre-diabetic state to your normal you are prone towards diabetes but you are not a diabetic patient right now so with your uh, lifestyle change with your food habits with few homeopathy medicines you can revert it back and then you are not going to be a diabetic patient but if it is always higher the uh, glucose level in blood is always high then you are a diabetic in that case you need medication you need proper food guidance and you need a proper regular uh, exercise channeling in your uh, lifestyle if we talk about prevention then diet and exercise can actually help you a lot to manage diabetic mellitus or diabetic insipidus uh, you should stop eating a uh, fatty food, fast food, refined food because these are the actual cause which is leading India towards the uh, diabetic capital. If we talk about more prevention, then lose one should always lose extra calories, extra weights, be more physically active, eat healthy food like plants and vegetables and protein diet should be in your uh, diet plans, eat healthy fats and you need to skip the packed foods and beverages. stop smoking stop alcohol or you may lower it stop tobaccos also because they also sometimes cause increase of blood sugar level now talking about homeopathy medicines as i have always said that homeopathy medicines are prescribed after taking the complete case but in diabetes, we have common symptoms with every patient, so we can prescribe a common medicines. Uh, our first medicine is uh, Shizium Zymbolicum. It's mother tincture you can use, like if you have symptoms of unquenchable of thirst, aapko bahut zyada pyaas lag rahi. in that case, you can use it. If you have uh, N number of urination, if you have weakness of your muscles, if you have anything related to your digestion, then Shizium Zymbolicum Q, 15 drops morning and evening in half cup of water and continue this like for three months to six months once your sugar level is decreased then you can take it one time a day and you can take it like six months more then stop for a few months and continue again next medicine with shizium jabolicum q you can take is uranium nitricum 30 dilutions you need to take two drops of this directly on your tongue three times a day at least for three to six months before your food this will help you to decrease the frequency of urination or maybe any uti or related complaints with that and with this there is an sbl uh, company's drop dibonel drop which is very helpful to lower the symptoms of diabetes how to take this in any age you can take if you are above 12 years then you need to take it 15 drops uh, three times a day in half cup of water and you can take it like six months then drop for one month then again continue six months and then keep it off for a month this 
in this way you can take it long until or unless you get your desirable results your glucose uh, sugar level are down you can take this it is completely safe and people who are above 18 years 25 drops in half cup of water before your food thrice a day and same you can continue it like six months eight months and then stop it for a while and then you can continue again these three medicines will help you to reduce the sign symptoms of diabetes and complications also with this you should always go for healthier diet and healthier lifestyle this will help you to live better life and healthy life I hope today's session was good. It was informative and knowledgeful. Please like, share, subscribe my channel so that you can get the latest update. Keep sharing so that other people are also educated and we should know our body and system of our body so that we can help each other.